up next. It's a welterweight matchup between Hector Lombard and Neil Magny. Neil Magny, ready to go to battle and put on a show. He is a cardio machine, Mike. He always comes in in incredible condition, and that's arguably one of the most important aspects of mixed martial arts training. Once your cardio goes, so does everything else. But this is one guy who definitely won't be losing because he ran out of gas. Neil Magny looking for another UFC win. <laughs> Hector Lombard, as always, very well prepared, extremely focused, and ready to go to battle. This guy has some of the best takedown defense we've ever seen inside the octagon. His timing and his utilization of underhooks and sprawl are world class. Hector Lombard sent to fight Neil Magny. Our tail of the tape. For this welterweight fight, Magny is 28. Lombard is 38. Magny will have a 9-inch reach advantage. And now with our official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, Neil Magny! And now with your seats opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a judo pro, only a professional record of 35 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. But he got a book at a creek long enough. USA, Hector Lightning Lombard! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. You ready? You ready? And here we go! Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks. Black trunks for Lombard. Oh, the answers. Good kick to the leg of his opponent. That huge head kick was blocked. Yeah, he's digging into that leg kick. Joe, we're a minute into the fight, and both men are still trying to find their range. This is still a feeling out process. Both guys are trying to find their timing, and you're right, neither guy has really stepped out ahead. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. And he gets a single leg. Back to his feet. Joe, that's a great move, catching the kick. Nice job slipping the punch. Under three on the clock, round one. Magny with a good connection. And a nice one-two with the right and the left. Joe, he's landing at will. He scores with the knee. He looks for the single, but can't get it. Good inside leg kick by Magnum. Nice hook to the body. 
Good combination. Oh, yeah, he completes the suit down, man. Solid punch by Lombard. Transitions to full guard. Back up again. Misses the takedown. Joe, that was a brutal knee to the body. Hard straight punch. Beautiful body shot there, too. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, he's getting some hip into that one. And again, he catches him. Big takedown. Ten seconds. Now he's inside control. Great. Round one is in the books. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. Okay? He's winning the wrestling war, but I, what I want you to do is I want you to counterfight him. Here's a look at some of the action here. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Very exciting round. Brittany gets us set for round number two. You ready? You ready? Round two. As the round gets underway, Hector Lombard's got to do a better job of utilizing his footwork and avoiding more punishment to his body. Really amazing the amount of punishment that he took in that round to the body. Left hand. Great job blocking that huge knee. Take a look at these numbers. Body strikes landed. He's doing some damage. Back and forth. He's able to block the punch. Almost caught him. Beautiful jab. Continuing to land his strikes. Magny with the double. Nice left hand. Back up. Lombard gets hit with that kick to the midsection. Found a home for that. Under three. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. Oh, another good body shot. Joey's really starting to do some damage. Solid left. We're gonna take him down again. Maybe gets the single. Maybe he's got it back at half guard. He went right back to that position. And again, he gets back on his feet. Lombard gets caught by the head kick. And he's got the takedown. Throws a hammer at him. Neil Magny's really doing a good job defending on his back here. His ability to defend from his back is absolutely textbook. Young fighters should learn from the way this guy handles himself. Back to half guard now. Solid punch by Lombard. Inside the guard again. Nice work from the bottom by Magny. We're back in the half guard. And back to full guard. 20 seconds. Wow, look at that. How good is that? Uh-oh. 
Excuse me, with an elbow to the head. Side control, and that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look at some of the action here. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. The lovely Ariani here tonight inside the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Are you ready? You ready? Five minutes left in the fight. Hector Lombard's taken way too many leg kicks in this fight. He's got to find a better way to protect himself in this round. He's got to check some of those kicks. Those kicks are getting through, they're slamming into his legs, and they're going to cause significant damage. He blocks that shot to the body. Oh, big combination. Oh, but he got tagged by a right hand there. Vicious shot to the body. Body kick, look at that. How good is this? Vicious combination. And again to the midsection. Big punch. Lombard counters with a left. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. And he's down. By Lombard. Quick slip of the right. Made me with a strong kick. Man, he really turned on that inside leg kick. Able to posture up. Great position. He's got him mounted here. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Magny gets it back into his guard. He's back up again. He lands a head kick. Rocked him with that right hand. Head kick! Wow! Look at this! Wow! He's badly, badly hurt. Go the distance, and now it's in the hands of the judges. Neil Magny's appeared to land the bigger shots tonight, and one would think it makes for a pretty straightforward decision. Absolutely, the shots that he landed certainly had more power, more significant impact, and I believe he's the victor. Round three, this thunderous head kick finds its way through the guard. Judges rendered their decision. Bruce Buffer has it. Who was our victor? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Neil Magny. Neil Magny earns the victory by unanimous decision.